We are talking about the mantle. We are talking about the responsibility. I'm going to tell you the song. Let me get read a little bit. The other day, I was here in the house. I don't know if you can remember what happened and I, I was thinking about the mantle. And so many times, so many people have told me that the mantle has been passed on to you. You know, that's what they call, they would say, one well, call, you know, the mantle that of your grandmother was passed on to you. And I was telling my husband the other day that I remember very well because the physical mantle, you know, a mantle is like a cloak. The physical mantle, man of God, is just a representation of what has taken place in the spiritual realm. Amen. And I remember, man of God, when my grandmother was going to depart from Jamaica for the last time, she never knew she was going to come back to Jamaica. She did came back some years after I wasn't here. I was in England at that time. But it was apparently the last time that she was going to come back to Jamaica. I didn't know she was leaving either because when she always leaves, nobody knew. But I remember at about 12, 13, could have been more than 14, she called me. Remember we were talking about the mantle. And she gave me a bag with a suit. Now, if anybody know my grandmother, anybody know my grandmother? <laughs> it's a grandmother is a big woman. She's big. And I was this. Very skinny. You know, like I this, I was very skinny. So, woman of God, Deborah, when she called me and she gave me a suit, I cannot remember when I think she said that she wore it in Jerusalem or she preached in it in terms of something. But apparently the suit was very valuable. That she would think it fit to call me and give me a suit, man of God, that could not fit my size at that point. Anybody hear what I'm saying? Because, as I said, my grandmother was a big woman, man of God. And I was a very slim child. So man of God, I wish I did that. That don't make no sense to me. As a 13 or 14 year old young girl, it never made no sense. Why did my grandmother choose to give me a suit that she had preached in in Jerusalem? Me and that girl, at that time, all me want a battery ride a woman of God and some they could skip the things. I will share with that. That was my that was my attitude towards what she gave, not recognizing. That it was a physical <laughs> manifestation of the spiritual mantle that was being placed upon me. Somebody said responsibility. Often times when the Lord gives you a responsibility, man of God, you have to grow into that place. It always seems as if it is far greater than who you are and where you are. Everybody understand what I'm saying. And if you don't have spiritual understanding, you're not going to understand what is taking place. Because I did not understand that this was significant. This was a mantle being passed on from one generation to the next. It was so important to her because she wore it in Jerusalem. I've not been there yet. She preached in Jerusalem. What does that have to do with me? But that was a significant thing that was taking place there. When the man from the call, the responsibilities, man of God have been given to us. Sometimes it is so overwhelming. There, I, when I was in my room the other day, and I remember I started to cry because it was a responsibility that was given to me. And up until now, I'm crying and I say, God. How can I manage this responsibility? Is there anybody here with me this morning? 